Okay, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to talk to you about how to switch the YouTube player to HTML5. Now this is beta, but it's something that you can play around with and, uh, and, and see if you like the features. Eventually it's going to all go this way, I think, anyway. Uh, so here is how you do it. It's fairly simple and you can always switch back if you need to. First off, let me bring this page over here. We're going to go to youtube.com forward slash html5 um, I'll put that on the screen uh, and then it takes you to the YouTube HTML5 video player interesting tidbit you can also additionally go to the HTML5 page by going to any YouTube video and right clicking and you'll see copy video URL copy video URL at current time copy embed HTML report playback issue copy debug info stats for nerds and about HTML5. If you click HTML5, it takes you to the same page that I recommended. It's an opt-in trial of the player. Uh, you have to use a supported browser, is what they say. Uh, uh, and supported browsers are pretty they're pretty standard, actually. It's uh, scroll down here, and I'll show you. you know, Firefox, Google Chrome, Opera, Safari, and Internet Explorer. You just have to make sure you have the right version. Um, and then let's see here. Uh, and then all you do is you click join HTML5 trial. If you don't like it, you would just go back to the same page and click leave HTML tri trial. It's very simple. Okay. Now what's weird is uh, they, they, they tell you that uh, full screen is partially implemented. Uh, if you try this trial, go ahead and try it. You'll see what it does. It, it does full screen, but whatever. Um, if you want to find videos with the WebM format, I looked into this WebM. This is kind of, it came out in 2010, but it doesn't seem to me to be taking off, but apparently YouTube is all for WebM. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on that later on. But um, there's also additional restrictions to this. Uh, some videos with ads are not yet supported. Firefox and Opera, only videos with WebM transcoding will play in HTML5. And if you've opted into other test tube experiments, uh, you may not get the HTML5 player. Feather supported though. So remember, I know a lot of my other videos, I'm always talking about signing up for uh, the other test tube experiment called Video Questions. And um, so you'll have to see if that works. It worked for me, but I tried it on a channel that didn't have video questions, so I got to test it out with that too. Now, however, okay, so let's take a look here. Um, let me show you here. I have a video I have a I have a video up on YouTube that uh, this is not the HTML5 player uh, so it's a, it's a band here and when you click play and you move your mouse uh, you can see in the progress bar you get the red bar and uh, and and that's it that's just the normal regular YouTube player now if I switch I'm gonna switch right now I, I'll even leave it up on the screen half and half if I click join the HTML5 player on uh, youtube.com forward slash HTML5. I'm going to click it. It does its thing. Let me move this screen out of the way. Uh, I click play. Nothing's going to happen. But when I refresh, let's refresh this here. Oh, look at that. Look at this fancy schmancy player right here. It's uh, got a little pattern here. Um, if I move this, it's got the little bar. Watch the entire video because it started where I started. But uh, anyway, uh, that's the HTML5 player. So other than that, I don't see too much else. Uh, so the, so for in my opinion, I I might switch back and forth, but I'm gonna leave it off for right now. But if anybody else is curious, that's how you do it. Let me know if you have any other questions. Put them in the comments and make sure you subscribe. Thanks.